Well, good morning. I believe it's the 90th Psalm where the psalmist is praying such a beautiful prayer. And on down into the prayer that he's praying, I believe it's verse number 17, he makes a request. And that request is, let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us. Well, this is Pastor Hayton, and I'm so delighted again today to sit here and spend a few minutes with you. And let's just consider this portion of the psalmist's prayer. Let the beauty of our Lord be upon us. Now, that isn't a physical beauty. I, I imagine that if God uh, possessed a body, that uh, it would be one to be admired. But we do know that God is a spirit. And uh, we know that God does not have a physical body. He does not have, even though it talks about the eyes of the Lord and the hand of God and and all of that, it's figurative because indeed God is a spirit. So he doesn't possess physical characteristics as we do. Even Jesus Christ took upon himself the form of man. But the prophecy of Isaiah concerning him was, there is no beauty that we should desire him. I think that he was like most of the rest of us, rather ordinary looking in his physical appearance. So when the psalmist prays, let the beauty of the Lord be upon us, He's not talking about beautiful physical features. I believe he's talking about the wonderful attributes that God possesses. And uh, through the wonderful attributes uh, that God has, uh, the traits that he manifests, therein is his beauty. And so I know today that uh, Christ wants the beautiful people said that he shall beautify the meek with salvation, and salvation will always bring a, a, a spiritual beauty. Our beauty might be seen in our extraordinary love that we manifest toward others. Certainly we know that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, and all the beauty of someone loving so much that he would make such a sacrifice. And so our beauty may be seen in the different ways that we manifest love toward others. And we are admonished to love one another. And if you truly have been born again, that's not difficult. The Bible says, By this shall all men know that you are my disciples, because you love one another. So if I see somebody that doesn't love others, I uh, question their salvation. That certainly uh, God shows his love to us, and it is a beautiful, beautiful spirit. Then I believe God shows them mercy and compassion. I think about the mercies of God. They're from everlasting to everlasting. We have such a merciful God that I believe that the beauty of the Lord is seen in his mercy that is extended toward the unworthy and the undeserving, just like all of us. I believe the compassion that God has is a beautiful thing. What makes some people so beautiful is that they are so compassionate toward others. And I believe that we have a God that is so compassionate that uh, he reaches out to us in every situation of life. And so I think, you know, the love and the mercy and the compassion that God manifests toward us each day of the world, I believe that God would have, uh, have that to be seen in our lives. I believe we can pray, let the beauty of the Lord be upon us. In other words, that spirit of love, that spirit of compassion and wonderful spirit of mercy, that's what makes a beautiful person. Heavenly Father, help us that the beauty of the Lord may be upon us. Lord, we want to be all that by the grace of God we can be. So we pray that thou will give us beautiful lives. We pray that you'll go with us this beautiful day of life. Help us to love and to serve thee be a blessing to others in Christ's name. Amen. Well, thanks for letting me share that on this Thursday morning, and I'll see you tomorrow. Lord willing on Lower Lights Devotional. Goodbye.